812, welcome back to the show. Love this time in the Okanagan, all kinds of things going on, including sporting events. And the Okanagan Sun are just gearing up for their season. In fact, this Sunday, their training camp gets underway. General Manager of the team, Howie Zarin, joins me on the line. Thanks so much for being here, Howie. Thanks for having me. Uh, so training camp getting underway. Uh, how are the guys looking so far? Well, we haven't had most of them in town for a while, so they just got in this week. So we haven't had a real good look at everybody for since spring camp. But uh, the guys that have been in town, they've been training hard, and uh, they look great. Mm-hmm. And w- in terms of um, what you'll be looking for, I mean, obviously uh, hard hard work and good effort, but what do you be looking for uh, this time around for training camp? Just guys that uh, that came to camp in shape. That way you know that they've been serious in the off season. Um, you know, I think that plays a huge part in and how your team will be in, in, throughout the season. Mm-hmm, right. Um, it's a big year. We have, uh, you know, a new coach, uh, Jason Casey, taking over from Pete McCall. Though, I, you know, taking over from assistant coach, so it's not like it's going to be an entirely new deal here. Absolutely not. I mean, uh, the last couple of years, uh, Coach Casey has uh, ran the defense and the special teams. So, uh, you know, he's been in charge for two-thirds of the game anyway. And uh, as far as off-the-field stuff goes, you know, he played a big part in recruiting with me, and uh, you know, also he's uh, he's a big disciplinarian last year, so that won't be a big change either. Right. Um, sometimes in these types of situations, you, if the, you, some teams deal with a bit of a morale problem, um, or maybe just a morale issue. Do, do you anticipate that being uh, the case, J- just in the way that a uh, um, bit of a surprise uh, for some, uh, Pete McCall leaving and, and Jason Casey taking over? I think there'll be uh, zero morale problem. Um, you know, I think everybody's focused on one thing and one thing only, and that is to win a championship. So uh, I think everyone's looking forward to Sunday, uh, including myself, and uh, we're uh, we're looking forward instead of behind. Okay, um, and you said winning championships. I mean, certainly the 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 past history of Okanagan Sun has been pretty good. Um, you know, uh, in terms of records wise, uh, looking to get back on track with with that kind of stuff. What, what do you think will be the focus for the team? Well, I think the the first and foremost is we got to get back to old Okanagan Sun football, and that is to play physical. You know, you look back at this team in the early 2000s and the mid-90s and even earlier, you know, teams were afraid to play us. And the biggest reason that was is because this team had guys that would go out there and smack you in the mouth. And that's what we got this year. We have a bunch of physical players, whether it's a receiver making blocks or a linebacker coming to fill a hole. No matter where you are on the field this year, we're going to have physical guys at all 12 spots. Mm-hmm. Um, just a, just final question here as we wrap up. Um, Howie, uh, what, uh, who's going to be your major or who is your major competition this year? Who are you keeping an eyeball on? Well, the VI Raiders, obviously. I mean, uh, you have to give them props and respect because, you know, they've won five or six BC championships in a row. So they're obviously the, uh, the team to beat, and uh, we feel we have the team to do that this year. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time. I know you're a busy man, and we look forward to the upcoming Okanagan Sun season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye.